Welcome back. Let's take a trip to Monroe County now. That's where an organization feeding thousands of Hoosiers is finally getting a new home. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson has a story of Pantry 279. Well, Pantry 279 got its start nearly 10 years ago when a group of Girl Scouts noticed their classmate was keeping food from lunch, extras like granola bars, chips, snacks, things that she could take home to eat on the weekends. That's when they decided they needed to start a food pantry. Now, Pantry 279 feeds thousands of people from 36 different counties. Since 2015, Pantry 279 has been feeding anyone and everyone. No questions asked. We don't judge and we don't ask these questions. And when you come in, as far as we're concerned, you are family, you're friends. You're not a client that comes to the food pantry. You're a guest. We are here to help you, but you're helping us too. Learn about humanity, learn about how to be a good person, feel good at the end of the day. Cindy Chavez was the troop leader for Troop 279 when the pantry started. The plan was that we were going to do it for six months, train a new troop, the new troop would come in, they'd run it for six months, etc., etc., on down the line. But the pantry grew too quickly for a troop to run. She says in their first week, the pantry served 25 people. In the first month, about 600, doubling in month two to 1,200. Now they serve nearly 10,000 people every month. There is no food we do not need, all food. As long as it's unopened, we can have it. So we have perishable things, we have produce. If you got extra tomatoes in your garden, we are more than happy to take them. Since its start, they've been operating out of the back of Trinity Lutheran Church. And on September 5th, they'll be serving the community in their new location with more space, more color and central air. I'm going to cry a lot. <laughs> I've already been crying at home. I remember all those firsts. The first time the girls were there, our first person, the first tragedy we had, the first happiness we had. Nearly a decade later, the work of Troop 279 continues to make a difference in Monroe County. And I hope now that they're in college and getting families of their own, that that has stuck with them all these years. How important what they started did and what they worked so hard for. Now again, the pantry is a no questions asked pantry. You can be from anywhere in the state. She says they even have people from Ohio visiting that pantry every single week. Now they are going to be closed this week so they can move into that new space. They plan to open on September 5th for the first time to serve the community. You can learn more about that move, how you can help or how you can get help by visiting this story right now at WRTV.com. I'm Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.